Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with that. 2020-2021 Panini Recon Basketball 12-box pick your team number four, all card ship. Uh, that's the conv I don't I don't remember doing group breaks of this at all. Two wax party spots being given away at the end. Everyone picked their teams. A big thanks to this group for getting into the action. Thursday the 7th, pick your team four. I think Dusty bought like the last couple teams. There you go. Double last spot mojo. Let's see what we got. And we'll re-randomize that whole list at the end. Top two will get wax party spots, which should be pretty awesome. There it is. Recon. All 12, right? This is the right? Yeah, okay. Let's see what we got. Good luck, everybody. And this is still uh, Lamelo Anthony Edwards draft class here. All right, good luck. Two autographs, a lot of inserts and parallels. Eyes on the prize, sky's the limit. Ultra rare ho hollow spiral parallels. Let's see what we got. Good luck, boys and girls. I kind of remember this. We got a Dwayne Wade autograph. Wow. 14 out of 25 D Wade. Right out of the gate. That's a nice autograph for Jesse in the Miami Heat. smaller top loaders. Seventy fives can work. I think fifty fives might even be perfect. Come on, top loaders, what are you doing? Stay, stay in your shoebox. All right, so D. Wade for Jesse, nice start. What else do we have here? There's Westbrook. We got a uh, Paul Millsap, 199 for the Nuggets, Steven. Sky's the limit, Donovan Mitchell to 99, that's for Carter. We got maneuvers, Giannis onto the compo. SGA maneuvers. 
Got a uh, Tristan Thompson, 42 out of 49. It's for the Celtics. That's going to go to Justin and the Seas. And 88 out of 199, rookie review, Carmelo Anthony. Going back to his Nuggets days right here. Going back in time, Steven, flat with Denver. All right, nice start. Wait, how many things are in here? Two autographs. Two autographs. We didn't see a second autograph. I guess on average, so it looks like we got shorted an auto, unless I just completely missed it. Usually they're flipped around. Just one auto. All right, well. That's why they hit, that's why they hit you with the on average. All right, box 2. Maybe we'll find an above average box. Maybe we'll have a 3 auto box somewhere. Yeah, that's right, Logan. Carmelo Anthony is pretty old. What is he, 37 right now? Thirty-six, thirty-seven, maybe thirty-eight. Definitely on the other side of thirty-five. In basketball and athlete terms, yeah, that is pretty old. There's Sam Merrill. 8 out of 99. Recon autograph for Milwaukee. That'll be for Jeff and the Bucks. There's Rudy Gay. Is that the hollow spiral right here? Might be. That's for the Spurs. That'll be for Chris and the Cole Anthony rookie card for Orlando. That's for Shane. With Damian Lillard, 70 out of 99. Portland, that'll be for Robert. Sky's the limit, Giannis to 199 for Milwaukee. That'll be for Serenity and the Bucks. Kelvin Johnson. And our second autograph of the box, Cassius Winston. Recon rookie auto for the Wizards. Jacob with Washington. Got out of 199, Julius Randle to 199. That's for Justin and the Knicks. Got a Killian Hayes.
Covington and maneuvers insert Kyrie. All right, next box. Recon basketball. We still have some NBA action happening tonight. Got the Oilers at Kings on in the background. See, Nuggets beat the Grizzlies 122 to 109. Pelicans trounce the Trailblazers 127 to 94. Timberwolves beat the Spurs 127 to 121. Celtics beat the uh, Bucks beat the Celtics that is by six, 127 to 121. Raptors beat the Sixers 119 to 114. Hornets beat the Magic 128 to 101. And Lakers currently leading the Warriors 73 to 69. So what's our playoff situation here? So I think in the West, six through I guess six through ten. They're just still trying to figure that out. Can Minnesota slip into a non play in spot? It's possible. We'll see what happens in the last few games or so. Yeah, the, the eliminated teams, my Lakers, Kings, Trailblazers, Thunder, Rockets. Definitely a, a disappointing season for my Lakers, that's for sure. So a lot did not go right. There's Marcus Howard. Nuggets autograph, 17 out of 49, rookie auto for Denver. Let's go see him flat. In the East, Wizards, Knicks, Pacers, Pistons, Magic are, are officially eliminated. I thought the uh, Knicks would be, I'm sure Knicks fans will say the same thing. I thought the Knicks would be a lot better this year after, their, after how well they did last year. Going to the playoffs and all that. Here's Daniel Tice, 49 out of 99 for the Bulls. Jeff. Just thought they'd take it to another level this year. Just didn't work out. There's Anthony Davis to 99. Ooh, nice goal. So LeBron's saying, why wouldn't he? Rex, he's under contract. I guess he could force a trade, but he doesn't have an opt out this year as he had as he has had in previous years. So LeBron would have to ask for a trade, and I don't think that's his. Uh, I don't think that's really his his brand. He's a lot of things, but I don't know if he's ever asked out in that sort of way. Surprising how, Logan? Logan's saying Hawks kind of surprising him here. There's Rudy Gobert for Logan's Jazz to 199. Who has Logan's Jazz? Carter has the Jazz. We'll get that card. SGA to 199. Yeah, Knicks were 35 and 45 with some games left. Just, just really didn't put it together. Uh, yeah, okay, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel the same way, Logan. I, I For the last few years, few seasons, I want to say, and especially with the playoff run that the Hawks had last year, um, Atlanta Hawks are just, you know, just in a uh, play-in spot. I 
thought they would be a little bit higher up the, the standings. You know, I thought they would be where maybe, thought they'd maybe be where the Raptors are, maybe that fifth, fifth or sixth seed right there. You know, Trey Young's pretty exciting. I, feel like I thought he had a I thought he had a pretty decent team around him too. I don't know what it is. I thought guys like Clint Capella, John Collins, DeAndre Hunter, Kevin Huter. Maybe he's still a little ways away. Right, yeah. If we, if we talked at the in the beginning of the season, Logan, we were like, oh hey, guess what? By the end of the season, Cavs are gonna be better than the Hawks. I don't know. I don't know if a lot of people would have agreed with that. It would've been like, no way. Yeah, the Cavs are a couple of spots ahead of them. Cavs were in like a top four spot for a little bit. They sl they've slipped. They've lost seven of their last ten, but. But yeah, they can get hot again and make some make some noise in the playoffs. Here's Westbrook, Wizards edition to 199. And here's Anthony Edwards, rookie card for the T-Wolves. Jeff with the Timberwolves. Maybe we'll find a little bit of his ink later on. That's to 199, Vernon Carey Jr. That's for Charlotte. That's going to be for Dusty. And the autograph is Kelly Olenek. For Dusty and the Rockets, one of his last spot mojo teams. I, I, I don't think I've said that the Lakers had good pieces. I thought, I, I thought Russell Westbrook was, was a real reach. And that a lot that the margin margin of error was very narrow for the Lakers. Westbrook was a bad fit, and we knew it. A lot had to go right, and it just didn't. It was Markel Fultz to 199. A Lamelo Ball rookie card, another Anthony Edwards. This time to 99. So nice numbered uh, Anthony Edwards for Jeff and the T Wolves, and Dusty with Lamelo Ball rookie card. And we've got Vernon Carey Jr. That's our autograph, 62 out of 99 for Charlotte Dusty with the Hornets. Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah. I mean, I I I think I think everyone. Still, all the Lakers fans still uh, stand by the Lakers. All right, next box. Who is recapping how many Westbrook shots at the top of the backboard? Yeah, and that's just... I mean, it was just a bad time for Westbrook to have a bad season. But the fit wasn't good. I mean, ever, ever, I mean just the fit just wasn't good.
There's uh, Anthony Davis, 99. Eyes on the prize, Steph Curry to 49. Warriors. And we got a Clippers autograph, Avica Zubash. That's Carter with the clip show. They're slowly getting healthy. Could make some noise in the playoffs. Now, Lamella Ball looks like a, a refractor here. That's for Dusty and the Hornets. Kawhi might come back. There's Jay Sean Tate to 199. Uh, Theo Maladon to 199 for the Clippers. And we got Xavier McDaniel, Boston Celtics. That's going to go to Justin and the Seas. Malik Monk, it's a bright spot in the Lakers season. All right. Sixth box here. Yeah, who does everyone have for MVP? Do you think Giannis gets MVP? According to VegasInsider.com, I don't know when they updated it. Oh, I think they updated this earlier today. Odds provided by DraftKings. Nikola Jokic is the heavy favorite. Minus 320 to win MVP. Wow. I didn't think it'd be that heavy of a favorite. Joel Embiid is plus 220. So about 2 to 1. Giannis plus 600. 6 to 1. And then it jumps to 75 to 1. Plus 7,500 for Devin Booker. Luka Doncic is plus, uh, plus 8,000. John Morant plus 20,000. So it just gets it just balloons from there. But yeah, looks like Vegas is saying Nikola Jokic. There's uh, Dennis Smith Jr. to 199. Yeah, I feel like um, I feel like Nikola Jokic not only putting up numbers but carrying a team that's like missing a lot of pieces. There's Shaq 54 out of 99 for the Lakers. It's Carmelo. Speaking of Giannis, there he is. He's having a great season, though. And we got Anthony Simons. 30 out of 49. Trailblazers, Robert will be retooling. Robert has the Trailblazers in this one. We'll be retooling. Moving CJ McCollum. Damian Lillard didn't really play much this season, so we'll have to try to retool this summer with whatever draft picks they can get, whatever they can get in free agency, so on and so forth. Pascal Siakam to 199. Steph Curry, rookie review to 199. A lot of people thought Steph Curry wouldn't make it. 
you had a lot of, uh, you know, like they're thinking volume threes and bum ankles. It seemed like he was never healthy. There's Jason Richardson, old warrior for Justin. But now look at Steph. Which is why I'm not, which is why I'm still holding out hope that I'm not as concerned about someone like Zion. Still give him, give him a chance. Now, if Nikola Jokic wins MVP this year, he would be... How often does that happen? I guess it does happen kind of often. I'm looking at the MVP history list right here. Giannis won it twice in a row before Jokic won it. Then it was James Harden the year before that. Russell Westbrook, Seth Curry won it two years in a row. And there was Kevin Durant with the Thunder won it. He was the real MVP. And then LeBron won it two years in a row with the Heat. And before that, it was Derrick Rose. Then LeBron won it two years in a row with the Cavs. Before that, it was Kobe. Before that, it was Dirk Nowitzki. Then Steve Nash won it two years in a row with the Suns. And then in the early 2000s, KG won it once. Before that, Tim Duncan a couple years in a row. AI the year before that. Shaq, Lakers Shaq, Carl Malone, Michael Jordan. Carl Malone, Michael Jordan. And it kind of switched off a little bit there. Who does everyone have for Rookie of the Year? There's Tim Hardaway Jr. To, oh, what happened to my camera? Camera, wake up. Loading this camera up again. Stand by. All right, welcome back. There's Tim Hardaway Jr. to 99. He was this. Here was a stack before it. Rookie of the Year odds, Evan Mobley is your heavy favorite, minus 225. Then Scotty Barnes, plus 170. Oh, sorry. Forgot to turn off the, uh, the microphone on the camera. Is that better? Mic check, mic check. That should be that should be fine. I turned off the microphone on the camera. There's uh, Madi Diakite, true potential signatures. There you go. We're we're good. Says Hippie Spanish. That's for Milwaukee. That that'll be for Jeff. Sorry, Rex. We'll get you New Year's at some point. There's Kemba Walker to 199. 
Yeah, Evan Mobley's the heavy favorite, minus 125. Scotty Barnes, plus 170. Cade Cunningham, plus 800. Logan likes Scotty Barnes. Yeah, I mean, even though Evan Mobley, Vegas has him as a favorite, plus 170, you know, that might be fun to splash a little something on that. Just, just, for, just to be a little contrarian. There's Christian Leitner, T-Wolves. T-Wolves edition going to Jeff. Glorified signatures. Michael Bridges. All right, next box. Franz Wagner is a plus 10,000. So he's 101. A free box of Prism Basketball might help your ears, Rex. On its way, we'll send you uh, an empty box of Prism Basketball, gladly. Good call, done. Free empty box of Prism Basketball. On, on its way, Rex, for your troubles. Yeah, Josh Giddy too, Logan. Josh Giddy's also 100 to one, but but I think he got he was sidelined with an injury for a little bit. But he was seemed like he was on his way to a Rookie of the Year campaign. Uh, there's Kelly Obrey Jr. to 49. And a Kobe White to 99. We got Trent Forrest for the trees. True potential signatures for the Jazz. Carter with the Jazz. There's uh, Mason Jones to 99 for the Sixers. Yeah, a lot of rookies playing well is a good thing. I agree, Logan. Kind of helps spread out the, the, the price a little bit, especially when we're doing like pick your teams, you know. There's Siakam to 199. Yeah, and just good for the NBA in general, I agree. And we got Spud Webb. Atlanta Hawks autograph for Justin. All right, next box. On this uh, VegasInsider.com where I'm looking at the uh, NBA Rookie of the Year odds, uh, they also have the NBA Rookie of the Year history in the last 10 years. It's a pretty good list. Starting with 2010, 2011 season, Blake Griffin, Rookie of the Year. He had a nice career. Is like, still playing. Kyrie Irving for the Cavs the year after that. He's pretty good. Damian Lillard for the Trail Blazers the year after that, 2012, 2013. That's pretty good. Uh, then Michael Carter-Williams for the Sixers. I think he's still around. Um, so maybe that's the only sort of slight dud. But uh, then next is Andrew Wiggins. He ended up being an all-star this year. 
Maybe a little bit of a late bloomer. Carl Anthony Towns, Malcolm Brogdon the year after that, Ben Simmons, I guess TBD on Ben Simmons, Luka Doncic, John Moran, and last year, LaMelo Ball. And Josh Green is Tony Delk, glorified signatures. Rex Logan has a uh, has some trivia for you. We got a Cole Anthony to one ninety nine, one ninety out of one ninety nine. Magic. That'll be for Shang. The magic. Behind Christian Wood is Anthony Edwards. Nice rookie autograph, Anthony Edwards for Minnesota. Jeff Lydell bought the Timberwolves straight up in here in Recon Pick Your Team 4 and ends up with an Anthony Edwards autograph. Nice, congrats. We got Joe Harris to 199 for Brooklyn. And we got a three out of five. That's a Jalen Smith. Three out of five card. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. Phoenix Suns, Robert F. with the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Right, yeah, Logan, we forgot. Rex is going to certainly pick. A, uh, a current or former Cub. Yeah, I know. I, I, I already answered this yesterday. So if you're paying attention to the show yesterday, you would have gotten the answer. Would we even ask Rex if, it, Rex if it's not going to be a Cub? Any other guesses, ladies and gentlemen? Terry is guessing Logan Paul or his brother. See where Logan, Logan, where Logan Coster got confused. Yeah, Logan Paul, which I don't think is a bad guess. He must have a lot of the most followed athlete on Twitter. Although is he that active on Twitter? We got a Laker. We got uh, the Magic Man, Magic Johnson. He's a Magic Man, and that'll go to Justin and my Lakers. John Wall to 199. Out of 49, we got Jay Sean Tate for the Rockets. That's going to go to Dusty. There's a LaMelo ball for Dusty as well. 
be a hell of a case if we saw his autograph too. No, yeah, no, not Logan Paul or Alex Morgan, which was Rex's guess. Any other guesses out there? Don't Google off the top of your head. Ooh, I thought for a second I saw the Hornets logo. It's Caleb Martin instead. There you go, Dusty. I suppose Lamelo is probably a redemption in this, right? But still. Yep, Superman's got it. I think that's Carter, right? There's Darius Garland to 199. Sky's the limit, Luka Doncic to 199. Yeah, and I think it has been Cristiano Ronaldo is the most followed on Twitter. I think it has been Cristiano for a little while. All right, second to last box, we've got James Enos. Glorified Legends autograph for Orlando. That's going to go to Sheng and the Magic. We've got Dennis Schroeder to 199. So Lakers edition here. And a LaMelo ball. This is a scouting reports insert. Rookie card for Dusty and Charlotte. There's Zach Levine to 199. There's Jay Sean Tate. He's got some upside too for the Rockets. Dusty in the Rockets. Who shipped it, Terry? Who was the shipping company? Was it the person that packed it or if it was or was it well packed and it was just destroyed in transit? That's that's terrible. There's Mike Conley to 99. Out of 99, DeMar DeRozan, Raptors edition. It's rookie review for Justin in Toronto. John Morant, last box coming up.
But like Terry, who's uh, I haven't seen the video, but have they determined like whose quote unquote fault it was? Is it the people? Was it the people that uh, that that packed it? Or is it definitely shipping company? We got uh, Ashton Hagens, true potential signatures for the T-Wolves, Jeff with the Timberwolves. There's Reggie Perry to 199 for the Nets. Gotcha. He said PSA had their claims people reach out to him, so they're still trying to de determine what happened. It's Bradley Beal, Wizards, to 199 Yeah, in my experience, you know, generally, and, and you know, obviously this situation could be completely different, but in general, you'd be surprised at how many packages are sent accurately and safely. Millions of packages. There's Nikola Vucevic, final autograph, 19 out of 49. So a lot of times when shipping damage happens, it's, um, it's often who packed it originally. Jeff with the Chicago Bulls will get that Vucevic autograph. But I don't know, we'll see. It'll be interesting to see. Carmelo Anthony, Trailblazers edition of 49. But yeah, chipping has been that. All that being said, I have seen a slight uptick. There's Nuggets composite of 199. Looks like that, my friends, is that. There you go. Nice break. Bit of a longer break, but I feel like we got some nice stuff. I'll do a recap really quick. No, we have not heard from UPS about our Clearly Donners. That's still in the wind. All right, let's flip back to the screen right here. We're giving away two wax party spots here, so let's gather up all of your names from Justin down to Jacob and everyone in between. New dice, new list. No other randomizers, right? No. Nice, clean break. Let's roll it, randomize it. Four and a three, seven times. Top two after seven. Good luck. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven. Big thanks, everybody, especially from three spot. Dusty, very close, but no go there. But three down to 30, thank you very much. Thanks, everybody, for uh, giving this a shot two wax party spots being given away. That's going to be for Justin. And Justin, wow. Top two for Justin after seven. Congrats to you. Double wax party spot. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.